you, Pop Sugar fam. I'm Krista DiPaolo, creator of the Boxing and Bubbles online fitness program. I'm gonna be taking you through one of my B&B signature cardio kickboxing workouts called Full Body Knockout. It's five total rounds, equipment free, and so much fun. Are we ready to punch, kick, and sweat? Let's do this. All right, squad, welcome to round one, your pre-fight warm-up. Show me that guard and show me some rotation. I want you to lift up your heels. Your hands are up by your face, your elbows are tight to your body. We are loosening up that spine. We're also starting to fire up that core. Now, all we're gonna do is keep this movement and we're gonna punch it up overhead. Get ready in four, three, two, punch it up. Now you're feeling that stretch all through the rib cage, the side of your body, bringing those hands right back to your face. On deck, we have some cross body uppercuts. Get ready in four, three, two, here we go. Right arm. Now those uppercuts, as you know, target zone is where? Exactly, right underneath the chin. <sighs> Lifting up those heels and finding all of that rotation. All right, get ready for a squat and a low impact butt kick. And four, three, two, alternating. Here we go. Take it down. Now you want to drive that heel up into the glute. We're starting to feel that stretch in your quad. Sit back in your heels, abs are pulled into your spine. And drive. Pushing those hips to the back of the room. Give me four more. Here's three. Last two. We're holding the low impact butt kick. Here we go, and hold. Now you're more than welcome to add a little spice to this and you can give me a plyo. Otherwise you can keep it here with me, low impact. We're going to go for some scoops next. And I want you to take your time with it. It's not about speed. We're starting to stretch out the back side of your body. In four, three, two, here we go. You're going to scoop. I want you to place your hands behind your head, rotation towards that same leg. Whatever legs forward, that's the direction you're going to twist. Stretching out your hamstrings, stretching out your calf, stretching out your glutes, and continuing to fire up your core and stretch out that back. Toes up towards the ceiling, scoop. Hands behind your head, twist, reset. Scoop. Beautiful. We have one more thing to do, and then we're gonna get you into a round two. How's four more? Scoop, rotation, reset. Here's three. Last two. One more. You're going to give me a jack with an alternating hook. Let's go. Jack, step it forward with the hook. Elbow 90 degree angle. Now, modification, watch this. Anything and everything can be modified. I always like to say, do you. Do you. Light on the landing. Now we're starting to get that heart rate up. Get those lungs involved. Beautiful. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Look at this, four. Nothing wrong with that. Three, give me two more. One, beautiful. Now let's stay in this boxer shuffle. Have your first combination for you. That just means punches and kicks put together. This is round two. And then we are going to tack on knockout abs burnout in between. We're gonna work both stances, orthodox and southpaw. Are we ready? Show me that guard. Three minutes on the clock. Show me that boxer shuffle and let's hit it. All right, at home you're in southpaw, I'm in orthodox. We're gonna go over this slow in three, two, one. We're gonna start with that rear arm. You have a re rear hook, you have a lead hook, you have a cross and a jab, and then you're going to give me that boxer shuffle. Rear arm first, here we go. Rear hook, lead hook, cross, jab, light on your feet, knees are soft, abs are tight. One more, elbows up at 90 degrees. You're snapping your punches back in three and two. Let's have some fun, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, shuffle. A lot of power punches, 
What does that mean? That means to lift up your heels for that rotation. So we're always engaging your core. Beautiful. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Now, I am going to add a kick to the mix. I just want you to become a pro at this before we add on. I want you to feel comfortable. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Are your elbows up? Are your abs tight? Are you twisting? You feel that? All right, two more, and then we'll take it from the top. Last one. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Take from the top, slow. Here we go. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Now you're gonna close the space for a back push, drive through your heel, drive through your hip, a front push. Then we're going for a double rear roundhouse. I want you to turn your hips to the ground. One, two, and then shuffle back to place. Let's try it again. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Close the space, back push, your foot is flex. Front push, your foot is flex. Turn your hips for a double roundhouse. One, two, and then shuffle. You wanna try it? You can always rewind. In three, two, one, here we go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, step, back push. Front push, one, two, reset, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, step, look behind you. Now, the most important thing on the roundhouse, turn your hips. I don't care about range of motion. All right, do you. You feel that oblique? You should, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, step, back push, front push, one, two. Keep them both low if you'd like. You can even tap your foot on the ground. A lot of, a lot of stability involved in that one. Now you're feeling your glutes there, your hamstrings, yes. Full body at its finest. Look behind you. Don't forget to breathe on your punches. And breathing on your kicks. Automatically engages the core. All right. Oh my gosh, are you feeling this? I'm so feeling this. All right. Squat, one more. Hook, hook, cross, jab, step. Give me everything you have. You can put your hands up, yes. All right, we're gonna work your knockout abs. So I'm gonna take it to the ground. We are going to do a crunch. It's a fighting crunch. So you're going to go all the way back, you're gonna come up. You're going to give me two blocks. I want you to find that rotation. Two cross body punches, two contralateral reaches. I added the sauce to this one, let's go. One minute on the clock. Block, block, cross, cross, touch, touch, reset. Like I said, you want to find the rotation with the block. Back, up, elbows tight. Think about blocking your face from incoming punches. Exhale. On the punches, you wanna drive it all the way across your body. Beautiful. And then that contralateral reach, just a fancy name for touching the opposite foot. You don't have to touch it. Remember, modify accordingly. Tempo's up to you. You can lap me, you can stay with me. So we're going to be working the other side, which is so amazing for the brain. And that's why I love boxing and kickboxing. Mind-body connection at its finest. You hear me say that a lot in videos. Last one. This is it. Amazing. All right, ready to work the other side? Let's do this. Show me that guard, show me that boxer shuffle. Now at home, you are an orthodox. I'm heading to southpaw. Let's break it down in three, two, rear arm first. Rear hook, lead hook, cross, jab, shuffle. Target zones, let's talk about them. Side of the chin, and then you know front of the face. Are we ready? In four and three, let's pick it up, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, shuffle. Remember, you can always add light hand weights to this, one pound, two pounds, no more than three pound weights. Add some spice to the punches. It'll engage your shoulders a little bit more and you'll feel the burn. Find that power, find that rotation, lifting up those heels, your knees are soft. You wanna add those kicks to the mix, don't you? 
because they're so much fun. Same here. All right. I know you have this. Two more, and then we're gonna go for it because you're a pro. Last one. Here we go. Take from the top, slow, adding on. Hook, hook, cross jab. Close the space, that just means get your weight underneath you. Drive through your heel, drive through your hip, feeling that hamstring, feeling that glute. And then most important thing you know, turn your hips. One, two, you can tap it or not, point your toe. Last one, because I know you have it. Hook, hook, cross jab. Step and close the space, back push. Front push, double rear roundhouse kick. One, two, you ready? Three, two, show me, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab, step, back push, front push. One, two, reset, go. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Flex your feet and then point your toe. Lead with the shoelaces. Don't care how high, hit it. Hook, hook, cross, jab, drive. So it's called full body knockout for a reason. <laughs> we are working the full body. I always like to remind you to think about what you're feeling, what we're engaging, what we're working. Shoulders and core, we have a little below the belt. We have a lot of knockout abs right here. <sighs> Stay with it. Hook, hook, cross, jab, drive, drive, point. I love a double rear roundhouse kick. One in my face. Shh, shh. Remember, hip in line with your knee, knee in line with your toe, go. So important over range of motion is your form. Shh, shh. Oh, I love this. Are your lungs burning? <laughs> Mine up. Last one. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Stay with it. Shh, shh. Yes. All right. We're going back for your knockout abs burnout. You know what to do. One minute on the clock. Big breath in, big breath out. In three, two, one, let's go. Back up, two blocks, two cross body punches, two contralateral reaches. What's the most important thing? That hey, you're having fun. <laughs> Seriously, that's the most important thing. Working out should be fun. You should wanna show up and you should wanna push play. I was also, gonna, also going to say that the rotation's really important too. But having fun, most important thing. That's what keeps me showing up and pushing play. If it weren't fun, wouldn't want to do it, right? Try to get tall through the spine if you can. Block, block, cross, cross, reach, and reach. We got this. We're almost there. All right, you have, oh, oops. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, last one. And if you do the punches first instead of the blocks, who cares? All right, quick 30 second breather. You're welcome. Officially welcome to round three. I have another combo on deck for you. I have another combo. This one's gonna be really fun and we have a below the belt burnout. All right. Are we ready, squad? Officially, welcome to round three. Show me that guard. Show me that boxer shuffle. As you know, I'm headed orthodox. At home, you are headed southpaw. Ooh, we start with a defensive technique, a bob and weave, AKA an under towards your rear leg. Keep those hands up. You wanna step into it. It's a tiny step, under, and then under towards your lead leg. From here, you're going to give me double snap, point your toe, one, two, range of motion is up to you, and across from the top. Step into your under, back is tall, head is up, eyes on the prize. Double snap, lead with the shoelace, one, two, and across. You wanna go for it? And three, two, one, let's hit it. Under, under, double snap, power cross, go, under, under. If you don't feel comfortable with the step, you can omit it, right here. I think it just flows a little bit better with the double snap. Step into it, back is tall, abs are tight. One, two, cross. Power behind that cross, lift up that heel. Target zone, as you know, the face, you're getting out of the way of incoming hooks on a bob and weave. 
Ooh. <laughs> Wait till you see what I'm adding. <laughs> Two more, this is really fun. <sighs> Last one, and then we're gonna take it from the top slow. You know the drill. Take it from the top slow, here we go. Under, buckle up, this is bananas. Double snap, you have a cross. Now we're going for a side push kick. I want you to slightly turn your hip down, driving through your heels so your foot is flexed. You're going to give me a reverse lunge. Now this is gonna set you up for an optional hitch kick. Driving your rear knee up, and it's like a jumping snap kick, and then you heel click. Now, one more. I'm gonna show you the modification, it's so easy. It's just a snap kick. You don't, you can omit the plyo. Side push, drive through your heel, drive through your hip, foot is flexed, reverse lunge, and then watch this, a snap. And you can omit the heel click. Three, two, show me, go. Under, under, double snap, cross, push, touch, jump it, hey, under, what? <laughs> I told you, a lot of things going on, a lot of things going on. Modification, watch this, under, under, range of motion, Look at this. I don't have to touch the ground and I just perform a snap, omit the heel click. I'm gonna do that again. I'm still working. I'm getting all the benefits, reaping the rewards. That's it. All right? Keep your hands up by your face. Point your toe. Power. Drive. Option to touch, option to hitch kick. There we go. Bananas, right? All right, we're getting there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. And if you get a little off balance like I just did, who cares? This is a judgment-free zone, right? Judgment-free. We're here to work, we're here to have fun, we're here to sweat. Last one, under, under, double snap. Cross side push, option to touch. Yes. Okay, on deck we have a squat jack alternating snap, one minute on the clock. Now, a modification for a squat jack, just perform squat snap kicks. All right, a little about burnout, go. Now, if you're joining me on the squat jack, I want your back tall. Sit back in your heels, focusing on below the belt. We also have some abs, some quads right here. And the snap, range of motion, you know it, up to you. Just point your toe. You can stay here, you can stay, whoops, up here, doesn't matter. Light on the landing, modification. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you feel it? It's burning, right? Same, I'm with you. I'm right there with you. 10 seconds. And then we're going right into the other side. Three, two, give me one more. Oh my gosh, burns. Legs are burning, lungs are burning. Check, check. Are you ready? Let's balance this out. Big breath in, big breath out. Show me that card. We got this. Show me that boxer shuffle. At home, you are an orthodox. And three, two, under, rear leg. Step into it. Hands are in guard. Double snap, you know to point your toe. Power cross, lift up your back heel. Find that length and extension. One more. Step into it. Under, heads up, eyes on the prize. Double snap and cross. Three, two, one, hit it. Under, under, point. Power. For the bob and weave, I always like to give you a visual. Imagine you're in a ring and there's a rope tied from corner to corner. On the bob and weave, you're going under the rope, so think about that. But you want to keep your head up. You're in the ring, you have an opponent, right? All right, two more, because I know you want to add on. Last one. We are officially sweating. Take it from the top slope, here we go. Step into it. A lot on deck. Remember, the more you show up, the more you push play. Practice makes progress. You'll totally get this. We have a side push. Drive through your heel, drive through your hip. 
All right, option, reverse lunge, option, hitch kick, okay? And then optional heel click. One more, hands are up, abs are tight. I'm telling you, this is advanced. Don't get frustrated. It's just like, a, it's a skill. You'll get it, all right? Three, two, one, go. Under, under, double snap, get ready, side push, drive your heel, hitch kick. What? AKA on jumping snap kick, all right? Push, touch, what? Under, bananas, bananas. You feel that oblique? Modification, I'm gonna show it. When I'm doing these workouts at home, like you, I modify all the time. No shame in my game. I'm still sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Drive, touch, snap, omit that little heel click. It's just fun and that's a conditioning movement. No, it's not boxing or kickboxing. Beautiful. Stay with me. We're almost there. Uh, we're almost there. Under, under. Best time is when you get fatigued to start thinking about your form and technique, being in the present. So I love, I love this format. You have to stay engaged up here, right? We are looking at brain, your B and B brain. This was it. Yes. Yes. That one was a brain bender. Full body knockout plus your B and B brain. <laughs> B and B for boxing and bubbles. All right. Big breath in, big breath out. Remember, on deck, we have a 30 second breather. But before that, we have to do below the belt breakout. Kick, kick. You know how to modify. One minute on the clock. Squat jack, alternating snap, go. Light on your feet, point. Sit back in your heels. Your back is tall. Look, modified version one, modified version two. You are still sculpting. You're still sculpting that b and b bootay. <laughs> Body by b and b hello. All right. Body by b and b Keep it up, squad. We're getting there. Just keep thinking about that 30 second breather coming up. That'll get you through. Also, what's gonna get you through is just to think how accomplished and amazing you're gonna feel after this video is over. Because why? Because it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm doing this right there with you. Trust me. You're gonna feel so, I love to say strong, confident. You know the drill. Last one. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, towel off, do what you need to do. Officially welcome to round four. I have another kickboxing combo for you. Punches and kicks. And we're gonna finish off with an above the belt burnout. You know I'm obsessed with push-ups if you've done any of my workouts. So that's what we're gonna do. I know secretly you're obsessed with them too. You're just rolling your eyes because you're so excited. <laughs> Ready? All right. We're almost at the finish line. Show me that guard. You know what to do. Get into that boxer shuffle and head into your southpaw stance. Now, each combo starts getting a little bit more difficult. We got this. One, two, one, two, that speed. You're going to give me a lead block. You're going to give me a rear uppercut. You're going to give me a lead hook to the body, a lead hook to the head, and a rear diagonal elbow strike. Huh? <laughs> one, two, one, two. Block, uppercut. Body, head, elbow. One more, one more. One, two, one, two, that is double time. Block, uppercut, lead hook body, lead hook head. This is so much fun. Three, two, one. One, two, one, two, block, up, body, head, strike. Now, definitely working the brain on this one. Definitely working the brain. Practice makes what? Progress. It makes progress. Enjoy the journey. Boxing and kickboxing is a skill, like I said. I'm telling you, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Just have fun with it. One, two, one, two, block, up. 
target zones, face, protecting your face underneath the chin, ribs, side of the chin, temple. A lot. Yes. <laughs> All right. Give me four more. Then we're going to add on. We have such a nice flow going on. Here's three. Think about the target zones. Oh, give me that rotation. Here's two on the block. That's for your abs. It's for your oblique. Last one. I think I counted that right. Three, two, take it from the top. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Lift up those punches. Uh, a block, up, body, head. Now from here, you're gonna bring your hands up for a jumping knee strike, optional jump into a squat, into a crescent, pointed or flexed, doesn't matter, optional heel click. One more. One, two, one, two, block, your uppercut, lead hook, body, head, diagonal elbow strike, hands up. You can omit the jump. Give me that squat, set you up for your crescent, close the space. You can also do this, ready? Three, two, go. One, two, one, two. Block up, body, head, elbow, hands up. Jump it, squat it, crescent kick it, heel click, hey. One, two, one, two. Block up, body, knees are soft, abs are tight. Shh, shh. Modification, watch this, watch this. Easy peasy, look, shh, shh. There you go. You got this. We have this. Shh. Point your flex. There we go. The heel click just is a fun way to reset it. I love heel clicks. Conditioning movement. <laughs> Conditioning movement for all my purest boxers out there. It's just for fun. Shh. Shh. Keep it up. Isn't this fun? I told you I saved the best for last. All right, give me one more. One more. Stay with it. Hands up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have a push up and a scorpion flip. We're gonna get right into it. You can modify the push up by performing them on your knees. Give me a push up, wide grip or narrow grip, it doesn't matter. Scorpion flip, open up that chest, reset. Hitting above the belt. Now, if your elbows are close, you're hitting more of those triceps. If your elbows, your hands are wide, you're hitting more of your chest and back. Obviously, a little bit of everything above the belt. And on scorpion flip, you are engaging your core. So, just a little bonus, a little bang for your buck. Okay, once my ponytail is soaking wet with sweat, <laughs> I know we've turned up the heat officially. Okay, all right, are you with me? Exhalation at the top of your push-up. Attempting to connect your chest to your mat, to the ground. All right, how's two more? And then we're gonna finish this off, working your opposite stance. Last one. Beautiful. All right, squat, let's do this. We're at the finish line, here we go. Let's head to that opposite stance. Let's get right into it. One, two, one, two, you know your target zone. Face, uh, lead block, rear uppercut, lead hook body, lead hook head, rear diagonal straight, that's for the temple. One, two, one, two, face. Underneath the chin, these are the target zones. Ribs, side of the chin, temple. Three, two, let's have some fun. One, two, one, two, block, up, body, head. Now, the, uh, Elbow strike, little MMA for you. Obviously not traditional Western boxing. You can open up your hands if you'd like. Not the case if you have light hand weights. I know you wanna get right into uh, the other part of this. Let's just get this. I know one side feels probably a little bit better than the other. Let's master this. Power, that's all for, yes, your shoulders but your core, last two. I always feel like they're first ones to practice and then you know what to do. Here we go, from the top. One, two, one, two, block. Rear uppercut, lead hook, body. Elbow up, power, bring those hands up. You can omit the jump. It doesn't matter, squat. Sit back on your heels. Crescent foot can be pointed or flexed. Don't care about range of motion, wanna go for it? Three, two, I know you have it. One, two, one, two. Block up, body, head, elbow, hands up. Squat it, crescent, optional heel click. You know that. 
to reset. It's up to you. Modification. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. Breathe. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> now, this one was uh, a little trickier. So I'm going at a nice controlled pace. There we go. Now on the knee strike, I didn't talk about it. You're taking someone's face to your knee. I know, very aggressive. <laughs> okay, light on your landing. Oh, I'm feeling it too. I'm feeling it too. We got this. Stay with me. We're so close. How is, how's two more? Yeah? It's too much fun to stop now. Don't worry, I won't cheat you of your beautiful, fun push-ups. No way. This is it, this is it. Yes. Okay, we're taking it home. We're taking it home. Big breath in. Big breath out. You know how to modify your push-ups. 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Am I ready? Yes. Remember, you can do a narrow grip, you can do a wide grip. Totally up to you. I'm gonna go a little wider this time. Let's hit it. Feel free to work both. You can do that triceps push-up, and then you can do the wide grip. So, each time you do it, maybe switch it up. Focus a little more on those triceps, or focus a little more on that chest and back. Scorpion flip, because it's awesome. Engages the core, it's fun. Exhalation at the top of the push-up, you know that. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I start laughing sometimes when I start feeling really fatigued. It just gets me through. <laughs> laughing, boxing, kickboxing gets me through. Always, even with life. All right, squat, house, two more. Or whatever you have to do to even it out. Make sure you, you did the scorpion flip on both sides. Amazing! Yes! Yes! We did it! So if you're on the ground, I'm gonna keep you here for your convenience. I'm gonna take you through a very quick post fight pull down. Feel free to stretch a little bit longer at home if you'd like. Let's do this. So just take a seated position, get comfortable. You can place your hands on your knees. You can put your palms up, whatever feels good. And all we're going to do is just stretch that neck side to side. I know most of us carry our tension in our shoulders and our neck and in boxing, we're always really tight with our hands and guard, our shoulders up. So be really conscientious, lengthening, pushing your shoulders down to the ground, driving your ear to that shoulder. Forward and back, here we go. Dropping that chin and then lifting up to the ceiling, to the sky, wherever you are at. And I said in the workout, this sweat sesh is not easy. The more you keep showing up, the more you keep pushing play, practice makes progress. The easier it's going to be. Just enjoy, enjoy the process. Enjoy the ride. Last two. Roll out their shoulders, rolling back. Focusing on your breath, big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and roll it forward. Give me four more. Last one. Now all we're going to do is roll out that rib cage. So just think about tracing a circle with your rib cage. Then you hollow out your back, pushing your chest forward. That should feel like a mini massage on your lumbar and also your thoracic spine. Amazing work, by the way. Last two and last one, switch it up. 
So in my Boxing and Bubbles program, it's so much more than just boxing and kickboxing. I also have strength training, I have jump rope, I have mobility, core, upper body, lower body. I bring in guest instructors. It's honestly so much fun. And of course, you get your boxing and kickboxing. I also have a heavy bag program. Last two. And last one. So you can head to my website, chrisitapollo.com. Now, what I want you to do is you're going to go towards your foot and then I want you to lift up through your hips, opening up all the way through your chest and your rib cage. So hamstring and then up, opening up those hips. Try to touch your foot. Yeah, so head to my website, chrisitapollo.com. You can find out a little bit more about B&B. We, we're a global community. I've, thousands of squad members from all over the world, punching, kicking, laughing together. It's such a fun, really, really beautiful, tight-knit community. So can't say enough amazing, positive things about them. Last two. And last one. On your last one, I just want you to hold it up here. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Bringing this foot over and give me another spinal rotation. Every time you take a big breath in and you exhale, get a little deeper into the stretch. Let's switch it to the other side. You know what to do. Try to touch that foot and then pushing through your hips and through that upper body. And all the way up, extending through your fingertips. Attempting to touch that foot and then drive. Let's just do four more here. This feels so good on the back as well. Here's three. Breathe, this is you time. This is all about you. Let's not focus on anything you have to do today, just your beautiful body. Last one. All right, we're holding it. Reach it up, hold it for four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. You're crossing this foot in front of that knee. You're going to give me one more spinal rotation. Now, we're going to finish off with three breaths. I do this at the end of all of my post-fight pull downs on the platform. And it's just a great way to seal, seal your practice and get in some positive mantras that we don't always do because we can we tend to be a little hard on ourselves, correct? All right, I just want you to roll it up, roll it up slowly. Once you get to the top, let's do this. With your right hand, you're gonna give me a big breath in, big breath out. I want you to hold your hand out there and repeat after me, I am original. Let's say that together. I am original. Bring it into your body. Yes, you are. Opposite arm, big breath in. Big breath out. Leave your hand out there and repeat after me. I love myself and my body. Say that out loud. Let's say it. I love myself and my body. Bring it in. Yes, you do. Both hands as a squad, as a team. Big breath in. Big breath out. Leave your hands out and repeat after me. I am enough. I am enough. Yes, you are. Thanks for punching, kicking, sweating, and sculpting that full body with me. That was such a blast. The more you show up to this workout, I promise you the easier it's going to get. I love it. Check out my Boxing and Bubbles program, uh, chrisitapollo.com. And I'll see you at your next mustache.